So for today, we have Kiriko, Sojourn, Ramatra, and Junker Queen. I also play Overwatch 2 almost every single day on stream for at least a few hours if you guys want to come hang out. Sometimes it'll be for three hours. Other times it'll be for eight hours. So it kind of just depends, I guess, on how my ranked games go. But if any of you guys are interested in coming to hang out with me while I stream some Overwatch 2, then... Uh, Go to twitch.tv slash Electra. All right, we're starting with the Kiriko origin story. I loved her cinematic so much. For generations, my family has served and protected our city. I already love the art style, the like watercolor look. traditional paths. My grandmother devoted herself to the fox spirit. Um, who taught her the ancient way of healing. Whereas my mother has chosen the path of the blade. <laughs> passing down time honored skills through training. Those are some discipline. <laughs> I knew each of them wanted me to follow her path. Why not both? But I couldn't choose. <laughs> Training quiets my mind and opens me to the fox spirit's guidance. And my bond with her. <laughs> Look at her face. Protect those who can't fight for themselves. Oh. They both made me feel whole. And they both felt like home. For generations, my family has served and protected our city by following traditional paths. Me? <laughs> I made my own. Wow. Oh, that is so cute. Wait, is there something at the end? Oh, I think that's just, uh, it's just a little, and it's so cute. Look at her with her little fox spirit. Oh, we love a good connection to the family. I think my favorite thing about all of this was the art style. I love how unique Overwatch is with, whether it's their origin stories, their cinematics. I feel like everything's always a little bit different. I really like that. I'm, I'm an artist myself, so I think things like that are super, super cool. I feel that though, her line about wanting to help other people who can't help themselves. I feel like I actually relate to her with that. That's definitely a lot of what I strive to do as, as a person. So no, oh. she's actually becoming one of my mains for support. I main Ana right now, but I have been learning how to play Kiriko and she has been super, super fun to get to learn how to play, how to use her kit properly. So I love getting to see that. That was super enjoyable. All right, we are going to do the Junker Queen origin story next. What the <laughs> Very Mad Matt. Is that the? Is that really her singing? Like the, the actress for that? Since 17. change the logo oh yeah i mean her her whole vibe is really cool i think too i still think her design is really really cool though as a character i love the vibe of her it's very very unique like punk rock kind of vibes i i love it all right we got sojourn who by the way needs a nerf please god <laughs> This meeting of the International Justice Commission is now called to order. 
Please state your name Anna? and call sign for the record. Acting Commander Vivian Chase. Vivian? Call sign Sojourn. How did you come to join Overwatch? My unit of the Canadian Special Forces teamed up with Overwatch during the Omni Crisis. Canadian. Jack Morrison and I worked well together. Aww. And after the war, he reached out. Can you give us some examples of duties you performed? Whatever was needed. Sometimes I ran point for our agents in the field. Other times I commanded the operation. No matter what their mission was, mine was to bring every last one of them home. Oh. It sounds like you hoped for the impossible. She's badass. Now, but they gave me the impossible every single day. It was the honor of a lifetime to have served with Overwatch. But you can love a thing with your whole heart and still know it's time to say goodbye. Oh. Even the best journeys end. She left Overwatch? But a new one is right around the corner. And you never know where that road is going to take you. Was it just that she joined them for the Omnic Crisis and then left? Was that what she was meaning of, of her leaving? You guys let me know, because I'm sure that you know a lot more than me. Let me know in the comments. Oh, now, now I just want to pay attention to all the voice lines that she has with Soldier, because there has to be. I mean, if they, if they serve together and they obviously got along really well together in leading troops, they have to have some really unique voice lines between each other. All right, the new tank Ramatra is the last one. Oh, let me move my cursor. I was created to lead Omnix into war. He just came out. I've tried him. But He's not as good I as I thought he was going to be. It's a better life for my people. Mm. The fact that we exist is a miracle unto itself. We have studied the ways of peace and harmony. We have meditated on the universe and our place within it so he's connected to zenyatta we have tried to coexist with humanity, obviously but humanity is not interested in sharing their world hmm. how many more omnics should perish to fuel mankind's dreams no more why can't there just our be peace is only a single generation finite and dying all too quickly. We can find our own place. That looks pretty epic. And we must join me. And together, we will make a better future for all Omnix. Spooky! Definitely made him seem like a badass leader. It somewhat seemed like it was villain vibes, but he's obviously trying to fight for his people and lead them into a way of feeling free. So even though he might seem like a villain, it's for him, it's for the right reasons and he's doing it for his people. So yeah, no, I mean, I, find, I definitely find that interesting. If you would like to share anything that I have missed or just any fun facts or things that you personally know, because you are more into the Overwatch lore, please feel free to share them in the comments so I can educate myself on more of the backstories and things like that. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching these origin stories with me. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications so that you never miss a video.